Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Paris Saint-Germain and they take on Orlando Pirates. Yes, thanks as always Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Riquelme, and it's through here. The clearance wasn't decisive. The possession lost, intercepted. Kane. Owen. Well, not cleared away completely. And he takes on the shot. And cleared away. Really good tackle by Zambrosa. Al Harbi. Marcus Rashford. On the offensive, Lionel Messi, and Lionel Messi has scored the opening goal of the contest, such a boost. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish, that's a nice goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, good use of the ball. Smuggled away. Simple catch, really. Messi. Well, read by Toure. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, this is quite the personnel switch. Three PSG substitutions, all in one go. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Riquelme and he has options available but nothing comes of it Toure the keeper was never likely to be in trouble then Bowen is it going to end up being productive for them Can this could level it and a goal to square the game Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Erling Haaland. Not really the ideal clearance. Danger averted for now. Marcus Rashford. Danilo. Rashford. Danilo. And just why there really wasn't much in that at all. Something you don't see every day of the week. A triple substitution here. Jan Niklas Vester. Just ten minutes remaining here. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Can he find the right pass? Firing it in. Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. 
Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And that is the end of the contest, and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly, and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Manchester United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Cleared away comprehensively. Van Basten. Ljungberg. And well, they know they need to stop him. Can he put them in front? Oh, he saved it well. And reading it absolutely superbly. Manchester United keep the ball, advantage. But now it is going to be a free kick after the second infringement. I don't think the referee spotted the fact that the wall, the players on the wall, had moved forward. And he, he's in behind. Nice and easy for the keeper. Plenty of support here. Harry Kane, well not great on the accuracy front, goal kick here. Gerard, Ljungberg. Didier Drogba, well the attacking options appear plentiful. It did look in position, but he had a lot of ground to cover, splendid save. He took care of it defensively. That is that for the first half here. With the club secretary, please note Mr. Moon has left the building. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. That's useful play. They're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. And with the goalkeeper. Van Basten. Gakpo. Failed to keep hold of it. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. 30 minutes left for play. Steven Gerrard Van Basten Freddy Ljungberg Deflected behind Corner forthcoming Substitution it is for PSG Smuggled away security guard thank you Dybala and the referee has pointed to the spot penalty given can he take advantage and not cleared away properly just the clearance that was called for now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one and the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Oh, the goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. 
Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. And that will be all three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment? Yes, Derek. Sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition. And that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward. As a spectator, a warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Milan. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Ronaldo. Claude Makalele. Can he find the right pass? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Said Al Oairan. And still dangerous. Cristiano Ronaldo. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Corentin Torisso. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Dennis Bergkamp. Oyar Sabal. Girotto. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Bergkamp. Said Al Oiran. Bergkamp. Here's Mbappe. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Coming up on time, don't forget, we'll be having a lucky lap. And also don't forget the lucky program draw. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Now, what can they do from here? Rashford getting forward. Well, it was a foul. Can he put them in front? Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Is this the moment? And he puts it away confidently. So Milan get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Into the advanced position. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Neymar. Rashford. And he has options available. De Bruyne, it's Neymar, and getting across to stop it. And the danger cleared. 
Oh, he could have added to their advantage. Well, it was a decent effort, but they're still looking for the buffer here. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, they're nearly there, PSG. They're almost over the line. They want a victory. Stewart, are they going to get it? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've... Might it be, and back And what a magical save it was! Substitution, then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Goal. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 one, one here. Jack Grimish. Marcus Rashford. Still pushing for a winner. So the final score and the teams quite simply cannot be separated. A draw it is. What did you think of the PSG performance? Well, Derek, it's a horrible feeling when you can see it so late in the game. They thought they had the game won, but a lack of concentration has cost them dear here.